Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Le Monaronian and Magnus Carlsen. This game was played in London in 2017. Le Monaronian had white pieces and he started with d4. Magnus Carlsen played e6, inviting e4 and the French defense. Aronian played knight to f3, so if e4 then d5 the french defense we have knight to f3 c5 the sicilian defense and now g3 the closed variation c takes on d4 knight takes on d4 black to move d5 is the most played move carlson played queen to b6 bishop to g2 bishop to c5 e3 d5 this position was seen before, and the knight to c6 is the most played move. d5. Queen to g4, attacking the pawn on g7. How to defend? Perhaps g6 comes to mind. Magnus Carlsen played bishop to f8. Aronian castle at king's side. Knight to f6, attacking the queen, queen to e2. e5. Queen to b5, check. Bishop to d7, queen takes on b6, a takes on b6, knight to b3, knight to c6, bishop to d2, bishop to d6. After the game, Carlsen said that this was a wrong move to play. Knight to c3, knight to e7, a4, and Carlsen castled kingside. Knight to b5, attacking the bishop. And now Carlsen didn't like to play bishop to b8 because this is cutting the communication between two rooks. So he just chopped the knight. Pawn takes bishop, rook from a to c8, bishop to c3, h5, rook from f to d1. White is standing slightly better. Rook from f to d8, knight to d2, perhaps rook to a7 is also tempting. Knight to d2 h4, knight to f3, h takes on g3, and, of course, Arunian capture toward the center. e4. Well, surely Carlsen was considering knight to e4 in this position. And maybe he didn't like this continuation. Bishop takes on e5, although he can take on c2. So in this position we have e4. Why to move? Knight to g5 was played. Knight on d4 seems to be well placed. We have knight to g5, knight to g6, rook to a7, defending the pawn, bishop to d4 attacking the pawn on b6, bishop to c5. And now Aronian captured the bishop, undoubling the pawns. But he was not worried about that because of his next move. Anyway, what is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? The best move is c4. This is what Aronian played. Knight to e7. If d takes on c4, one line goes like this. Rook takes on d8, rook takes on d8, rook takes on b7. And there was no point to chase the pawn on b2, for example. If rook to d2, Bishop to f1, rook takes on b2, bishop to c4, and white is much better. Back to our game. In this position, Carlsen played knight to e7. c takes on d5. Knight to c8 attacking the rook, rook to a4. Knight to b6, rook to a3, knight to c4, rook to c3. Knight to d6 attacking the pawn on b5. Rook takes on c5. Rook to a8. White is two pawns up. Looks like white is better. Do you agree? Bishop to h3. Perhaps better was bishop to f1, defending the pawn on b5. Bishop to h3. Rook to e8. Rook to c7. King to f8. This is now the critical position of the game. It is white to move. Arunian played 
b6. Better was bishop to f1, not only because bishop is defending the pawn. There is yet another reason for this move, bishop to f1. Back to our game. b6 was played. It is black to move. What would you do? Please pause and find the best move for black in this position. What did you find? Carlsen played. Rook to e5. Attacking the knight. Let's go back. That is why bishop to f1 is the best move. And if now rook to e5, then knight to h3. And white is better. We have b6, rook to e5, and how to defend the knight? Well, Aronian surely considered f4, and did not like this continuation because of Han Passan. And after knight takes on f3, rook takes on e3, and after bishop to g2, rook to b3, position 5 was black. So, in this position, Aronian played knight to e6 check. Magnus, of course, captured the knight. What else? D takes on e6. White has three pawns for a piece. And it would be great if black didn't have this next move available. And that is knight on f to e8, holding everything in place. Attacking the rook too. Rook to d7. Rook from a to a5. b4. Attacking the rook. Rook from a to d5, rook to a1, not exchanging rooks, rook to b5, rook to a8, rook takes on b6, bishop to g4, well, rook from d to d8 doesn't do anything, because of king to e7, bishop to g4, rook to d5, king to g2, rook takes on b4, Rook to a1. Aronian is struggling now. Rook from b to b5. Bishop to e2 attacking the rook. Rook to b2. Bishop to g4. Rook from d to d2 attacking the pawn on f2. King to h3. How about defending? Is that a good move? Then knight to f6. And black is winning. So king to h3 was played. Rook takes on f2. King to h4. Rook to h2 check. Bishop to h3. What else? If king goes to g5, then rook to b5 check. And if bishop to f5, then rook takes on f5 check. Black is winning. And if king goes to g6, then rook to h6. Checkmate. So bishop to h3 was played. g5. Check. King to h5. What else? If king goes to g4, one line goes like this. Knight to f6. Check. King takes on g5. Knight takes on d7. Rook to a8. Check. King to e7. e takes on d7. Knight to f7. Check, king to h4, knight to d8, king to g4, king takes on d7. Back to our game. King to h5 was played. Rook takes bishop, king to g6, rook to f2, e7 check, king to g8, white to move. Levon Aronian tried one more trick. Rook takes on d6. Black to move. What would you do? Would you take the rook? Taking the rook is not the best move. If knight takes on d6, this is what Aronian was hoping for. Knight takes on d6. Rook to a8. Check. Knight to c8. Rook takes knight. Check. Rook to f8. Pawn takes rook. Queen. Check. Mate. Back to our game. So in this position, 
Carlsen played rook to h7 and Aronian resigned. If rook goes to b6, then rook to g7 check and after king to h5, king to f7, if king goes to g4, knight to f6 check. And black is easily winning, even after rook takes on f6. You have to be careful. How do you take? Rook takes rook. And white has no hope. That is why Levon Aronian resigned in this position at move 53. Magnus Carlsen won this game. He also won the tournament and got $100,000 in prize money. Whoever has will be given even more. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.